Okay, thanks for joining me. What we're going to do in this video is show how you register as a new user and add your Xero account to Control C so it backs up on a nightly basis. So the first thing we do is go to the Control C website, select free 14 day trial and we sign up for free in here. There's no credit card details required. So you would go through and fill out the relevant information, submit and upon submitting the registration form you will receive a confirmation email so you will need to check your inbox as soon as you click submit it should appear pretty quickly and once you've clicked on confirm um, in that email there's a login link that will take you straight to logging in um, very similar to what you see here so um, I'm not going to um, resend that email I'm just going to log straight in because I've confirmed um, who I am and we're going to go straight in here into the new account that we've set up which is demo whoops demo at control C and log in okay so as this is the first time we've logged in it prompts us to reset the password okay so first thing we want to do here is go to manage my company and manage zero organizations add a new Xero organization so just to explain here a Xero organization is um, the same as the Xero organization terminology within Xero itself so you may have one login but multiple Xero organizations could be a trust account sole trader a limited liability company etc they're all um, Xero organizations um, and what we're doing in Control C is adding one of those many zero organizations that you may or may not have. So um, the Control C um, backup service detects that you have um, one organization called Demo against your login, your zero login, and we're going to authorize that. Okay. So as you saw, it's, we've now authorized um, Control C to back up that zero organization. And uh, we're going to add a level of security here. Um, users that can view this organization's data sets is Campbell Green. We're going to authorize him to be able to have a look at those um, data sets. So we'll save that. and there will be an email um, turning up in your inbox that confirms um, that you've successfully registered and added the Xero organization to um, your account. And you can see here, um, this is just a status, um, visual status showing green that uh, data sets will be taken and um, Xero um, the Xero plugin is enabled. Okay. Okay, so click Save. And you can now see under your um, Control C login, demo at Control C dot co dot NZ, that there's um, one Xero organization set up to allow backups and that will kick off um, first thing in the evening and keep running until it completes your first full backup now just bear in mind that um, some backups can take a while if it's a small um, zero organization then it should 
be complete within the first couple of days. If it's a larger one, um, you can sometimes expect up to a week, depending on how many attachments, for example, you've uploaded to Zero. Those have to be um, pulled down and um, filed accordingly, so yeah, um, it does take a while. So be patient, but if you think that it's taking a rather long time, um, feel free to ping an email to um, support at controlc.co.nz and we'll have a look into it for you. So just as a double check, if you wanted to make sure that it had integrated with your Xero organization, you can just log into Xero and go to settings and then down under um, add-ons, if we click on add-ons here, it will show the zero add-ons that you currently have connected to your accounts. So you can see here data miner by control C limited um, is connected. So that's all good. So um, in 24 hours, um, maybe 48 hours, you should see um, your download complete in here. But um, by seven o'clock in the evening, um, you should see that there's a backup that started. It should show a timestamp in here. And that's it, as simple as that.